Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new time for This Week in Mobile. I, uh, as always, I'm Ashley Eskeva, and I am your host tonight, uh, and I will continue, even though we're at a later time, to restrain myself from beating my co-host, Michael Hobbs, <laughs> senseless when he bests me in conversation. Hi, Mike. Oh, thanks. I appreciate you actually admit that sometimes I do. Really? Best you in conversation? Sometimes. I don't, I don't remember when Sometimes that Sometimes you make good points and then I just tell you to shut up and then I move on that's, really fast. I, yeah, which I haven't gotten you to do on the show yet. That's the, that's the that's my bonus goal of being a host. To I get, get to you tell you. To tell me to shut, shut up. Shut your face <laughs> and let's move on. That's when I know I've won. <laughs> yeah, that's when you know you've won. Yeah. You can just, we can just start chalking up points during the show. Yeah. 6 p.m. This Pacific Standard Time. This feels. I feel like I should have a glass of scotch and a smoking jacket on. <laughs> yeah, we're a like, nighttime show now. Like in the 60s or maybe we could have those new vapor cigarettes. Yeah, we could have those new e-cigarettes. E cigarettes. E That'd be so and weird. Bring back a 60s flavor. Yeah, we'll make it like the 60s news. Yeah. And I'll, I'll pretend to be misogynistic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I. Uh, yeah, this week, uh, like, I we don't have a guest this week. We have some other stuff. We have some new segments. Yeah, we're gonna try some new stuff at the we're end. Gonna, we're gonna try some new stuff. Um, but uh, we're glad to have you, and we hope that you we hope that you enjoy the show. For anybody new out there watching the show, mm. welcome. We hope we can enter, at least entertain you. Entertain and inform. Inform, definitely. Entertain, maybe. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Well, we have a lot of news. Um, if you want to take part in the Ustream chat, you can join us. Mm -hmm. We are chatting live. I will sometimes call you out in the middle of the show. So be careful. If you careful. say something yeah. smart and informative or hilarious. Or foolish. Or really, well, really foolish. Well, I don't really call people out for saying no. foolish things. I just I just skip over them because I like to be nice. Not good. Yeah. It's, it's a good way to be. Better that way? Unless they say something really foolish. Then. Uh, really foolish makes me laugh, then it's funny. Yeah. So then I'll, then I'll say then something. Then people are entertained. But uh, yeah, we might give you a shout out during the show. So come on into the Ustream chat room. And uh, yeah, I do. I love my chatters. Jacob Aaron says, Ashley loves your chatters. I do. Mm. I, love, I love our viewers. They're so, they're so much fun. And they're so smart. Like people have answers for stuff that I should have, and I just don't. You're not like sometimes, to, don't well, admit that on air. I can't know everything, and I'll admit that. You're not sh mm -hmm. I'm big enough to admit that. Maybe. I'm big enough to admit that I don't know everything about mobile. So, uh, so yeah, it's nice to have viewers who can fill in the blanks sometimes when we need them. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. You guess so. <laughs> well, hey, once you get a whole bunch, you you have to get fans first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's maybe just feeling a bit hurt about that whole. Yeah, you look a little sad. Lack of follower situation. But uh, I'm working on it. I keep plugging away. More Twitter, more Twitter followers for you. Yeah, that's what I want. At Valis23, if you'd like oh, to follow right, right. Mike. I don't need your help. Make him feel good. <laughs> so. All right, let's hit the news. It's a good day. It's a really good day. And so all this week... There have been just wild amounts of reports that Froyo, this is going to be a very Android heavy show for those of you out there watching. Um, we, we've covered Intenigate quite. Yeah, I had my yeah, say. I got to talk about the iPhone a lot the last two weeks. Yeah, so, so now it's, your turn. it's Android turn, Android's turn to have a little bit of the limelight. But yeah, all week we have been talking and talking uh, and <laughs> seeing Froyo everywhere. I know. Is it true? Is it Leaks coming? Leaks and, and yeah, What's is it happening? coming? Is it, we've heard rumors about all of the droids except for the Eris on Verizon getting Froyo like within the same two week span, which is unheard of. Mm. And um, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, pretty much the dark horse that nobody thought was gonna get Ev Froyo, the Evo gets Froyo available for download today. Sprint <laughs> announced it. <laughs> it'll go over the air yeah. on the third. So it'll go over to the air on Tuesday, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, Sprint just beats everyone to the punch and announces it. And I and uh, Phil from Android Central and I were he had written me an email and we were kind of laughing about how like Verizon had announced that now they all of a sudden announced that the Droid, the original Droid, mm -hmm. is getting 2.2 next week. Mm -hmm. And so I we and via email of all places, yeah, like right. no, like it was just yeah, like I mean they had to have been so angry. Like, they had to have been so upset that, you know, oh, Sprint beat us with a punch, especially after, I, I forget who it was on HTC, said that we may not see 2.2 on all their devices until Christmas. Yeah, that's right. So, um, yeah, Evo is out. Like, if you want to upgrade it now, I'm pretty sure you can go and download it. Like, I have it. So um, we're going to do a little walkthrough in a second. But, um, yeah, like, uh, this is a big deal. It's a huge deal. Finally, non Nexus Ones yeah. are going to have two, official 2.2s. So, yes, Mickey Mickey is right. Let's go to the Evo Cam because I want to show you guys a little bit 
of, uh, I want to show you guys a little bit of Froyo. So here is, um, as always, Sense UI. Uh, one of the nice things they added was the ability to have profiles. Uh, so you can actually just pick normal, silent, and vibrate, which is um, really nice for me, considering that I always forget to silent oh. my silence my phone during the show. I just did so. Silence yours. Yep. Um, and then uh, this is kind of a cool thing that HTC added. They actually added a flashlight. Now, normally when you have a flashlight app, you have to turn your phone around this way and like use the screen to like walk around. But HTC has kind of done this little ingenious thing where you hit this button and you can see the flashlight getting brighter and you can see there's two little bars right here and then there's a third one. And you can actually see that it's the LED, um, which is very, very cool. Um, I am a big fan of that flashlight. So now you don't need any more free flashlight apps. Yeah, no more free flashlight apps that you know that secretly tether like in your. <laughs> or they might have a strobe. You can't do a strobe with that. Yeah, no strobes yet. Um, and uh, this is kind of a neat thing that uh, not a lot of people are really talking about, but you can actually go to App Share, and you can share any one of your apps. So like, if I wanted to share that lightsaber app, I could pick somebody on any of these contacts and let them know that I want to share this app for them, uh, with them, which I think is just awesome. Now, how does that work with a paid app? Uh, with a paid app, it'll just send you to the market where you can buy it. I see. And so, um, but like, if for a free app, it'll just say, here's the, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. And Mickey Mickey's right, yeah, the, the LED light does now work with the video camera. Like, it's a solid on light. Oh, that was, that came with 2.2? Yeah. I see. You can use the light um, with video recording. Um, we also have... Just like on the iPhone. Yeah, just like on the iPhone, which is really nice. I've been waiting for, uh, I've been waiting for that LED on on video. Sure. Um, one of the nice things I use vignettes, so let me uh, let me pull up the camera here. Um, it's uh, one of the things that the camera app is doing is uh, that someone else had also mentioned is now instead of see how they reoriented themselves on the bottom there for a vertical picture, which is really nice. And when you pull this down, it's up and down. Now, before, you were only able to do this way. And you had to, like, sort of, if you wanted to take a vertical picture, you had to read sideways, which mm. was really weird. Mm. But yeah, so watch, if you watch this plus minus, when you turn it this way, they go oh, ahead and yeah. rotate around, which is really, really neat. Um, so yeah, like, just really cool stuff happening. Uh, generic mammal says maybe she has dainty hands. No, I have huge hands, and the phone it, it fits very nicely in my hand because my hands are so big. Yeah, <laughs> I, have, I have almost man hands. No, you don't. Yes, that's not so at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so really good updates. Um, that the of course the big one is the just in time compiler, the JIT compiler, and Flash, in browser Flash. Why didn't we try that? Um, well, we can try that right now if you'd like. Would you like to see Flash? I'm, yes. Yeah, I don't have 4G here, which is kind of a bummer. I'm reconnected to Wi-Fi now. Well, I have to connect to Wi-Fi, so we'll we'll get to that later. Okay. I'll show people Flash later because I got to connect to the Wi-Fi I here. I didn't it. do that for the show. It. I don't it. Um, but yeah, so Froyo is out. It's coming for phones. It looks like the Droid is next week. Mm -hmm. We've heard the Droid X. They've already leaked uh, the Droid X upgrade. Uh, it might be trickling out. Somebody had a screenshot of their Droid X with 2.2 on it. Yep. Um, Willie V. Wade's asking, how does 2.2 affect the battery? You know, um, it's with when you're using a lot of flash in a browser, obviously it's going to it's gonna bring the battery down faster. Mm -hmm. um, but that being said, like I've actually seen my phone, the battery life has gotten a little bit better, and that's even with flash. Mm -hmm. So it's... It's a trade-off, I'll say. If, if you don't use a lot of flash, you'll see a, a pretty good improvement. Mm -hmm. Not huge. It's not going to like triple your battery life or anything, but... And how about like scrolling good. around and uh, moving through the menus and stuff? It's faster. Is it faster? You it feel is, it? It, I feel a hair faster. Mm -hmm. This is, I mean, it, this is a really strong phone already. Um, phones maybe like the Droid might see a... Might see... A, they're either going to see a really good performance upgrade or they're going to see, uh, hopefully not, a, Degradation. I'm sure they wouldn't see a degradation. I don't think so. I don't see why. But um, but yeah. So I guess uh, supposedly you can get it from HTC's site today if you have an Evo. Mm -hmm. You can go down there. Any uh, there's uh, all all the Android news sources, Android Central, Android Me. They've all got the link to download mm -hmm. the zip file, so you can you can flash that to your phone. Yeah. Um. But yeah, really cool stuff. And then it looks like the Galaxy, um, all of the Galaxy phones, Samsung's Galaxy phones. It looks like they're saying their target date is September, sometime in September. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Yeah, lots of uh It's finally lots getting exciting. I mean, 
hopefully this will be one of the last times you'll have to even worry about this. Yeah. Um, waiting for your, uh, desperately for an update to come. Yeah. Maybe this time next year they'll have it sorted out. With, uh, sorted out with the gingerbread. gingerbread like when gingerbread yeah. comes out, mm -hmm. it'll be it'll be interesting. I I find it interesting that they're now officially not um, allowing some phones to be upgraded. Like I don't yeah. see the Eris getting an upgrade. Right. An official upgrade to 2.2. You uh, have to hack your phone. Or yeah, sure. So. Which people will be more than happy to do. Uh, yeah. But that's okay. That's ex to be expected. Yeah, but, but I mean, it's just, it's just, it would just be a bad experience. Yeah, like people, people are getting, but you know, like people are obviously like the phone hasn't even the Aris hasn't even been out a year. Yeah, and they're just like, oh, I can't even use it, you know, because they have to wait two years. Yeah, and they're gonna have a phone that they can't use. Um, so yeah, just the ad, yeah, it's sort of a it's a give and take. Yeah, that's kind of sad. For if them. they were on Sprint though, and they were a premier member, they could upgrade every year. Was that a plug? Instead, no, I'm just saying, <laughs> Sprint. If you want to sponsor us, I'll plug you because <laughs> I have your service. But, but yeah, like if you have it every year, it's. You're good. Yeah, that's. I mean, I, I get an upgrade year, every year. I mean, yeah. That who, seems right to me. I think that's going to be the way. Who keeps a phone for two years anymore? They just get so obsolete, no. and you know, after. They a just year. get mad. They just go, oh, the I'm phones get mad. Other people get mad. People get mad. There's a, you know, like, I can't imagine using a phone for more than a year. No, especially these days. I start freaking out. So they change. I gotta have the newest. Yeah, I gotta have the newest would, phone. Like it just makes me crazy. Which is these days, it's now it's once a year is the new cycle. Yeah, new but I have to say, like last week we were talking about 2.2. So HTC, thanks for listening to me. Yeah, like I, I'm really glad that really you like it. took what I said to heart and said, you know what, you're <laughs> right, Ashley. We got to get 2.2 out <laughs> That's for the what Evo. They did. You put we them just, over the edge. We appreciate you so much. They were debating. Should Your we do tens it? Should of followers are just clamoring, so we're gonna do it. So thanks HTC and and thank you Sprint for for giving us this nice gift. Yeah, you do all them big things. And I said it was gonna be. December. I know. I wanted it to be. I wanted. I thought I wanted late you to be sad and upset till then. So oh, that was th very thank you. Mean thanks and rude. for the. Sorry. Thanks for being my. Thanks for being a friend. Oh boy. A golden girl you are not. <laughs> Sorry. So um, AT and T. What happened? Yeah. Uh, you made a good point about this earlier this week. AT and T but. is saying it will be the premier, the premier, mm -hmm. like premier, Windows Phone Seven vendor. Yeah. Kind of an odd statement. Yeah, I don't really know what that means. Uh, exactly. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that means either. I guess either. they're just going to he heavily promote it. He heavily. But well, mean, there's a rumor going around that they ordered like 8 million phones. Like they're ordering yeah, right. 8 million, 8 million Windows phones. Windows sevens, phones. Which is still a, it's an awkward name. Yeah, and see, Jacob Aaron said the same thing you said, um, which is maybe at and is planning on losing their iPhone exclusivity. Yeah. They're trying to bowl. They need. A Seems like the iPhone that that rumor for a few weeks ago yeah. about the iPhone coming to Verizon in what was it like September? Well, October? there was there were two rumors. There was that rumor, and then there was the T-Mobile rumor came out too yeah. last week. So, very interesting. It um, is interesting. It's because it's still such the fact that AT and T is like coming out and being like, "We are the Windows Phone Seven be... vendor." I mean, we're the premier vendor. Like that seems weird to me. Mm. If they were still really locked into iPhone, like right. if they knew they weren't going to lose iPhone to any other carrier, I not think lose so. it, but I mean, because they don't really do for whatever reason, don't seem so interested in Android or pushing Android or caring about it. So right. after iPhone, they're going to lose it at some point. Exclusivity. Yeah, I like Digi Squirrels. Like, oh great, seven million more phones sucking up AT and T's weak network. Oh no. Ugh, that's yeah. Well, there. Yeah. Well, there was that reporter. Was it this week or last week that mm -hmm. said that? Um, Android Android users are using are now officially using more data than uh, yes, uh, iPhone yeah, 4 that, users. Yeah, that came. That is true. But that's all Android devices. Yeah. Compared to you know one, but well, it's yeah. true. But it's true. They, but they, it just is it. It's just, just using, on average per user. They're using more data. I thought it was an average per user. Yeah, I think more data. It is. They like it's like an average of 400 to something megabytes as opposed to 300 for the Which iPhone is, user. So yeah, yeah, they're using a lot of data. So which kind of goes back to the uh, the tiered data plans we were talking about last week. Which is why those things exist now. Because people are using. Like, I just, I really data. like. We'll see, but that's the thing. I really like what Sprint is doing in terms of the the ten dollar. Like, because the thing is, is I we don't have four G in L A yet. Like, there's they're beta testing it right now, so we get it in some parts of like Hollywood and some pieces of Santa Monica. I have it. But the thing is, yeah, Mike's got it, but it's not here. And Mike, you're like and ten I'm, minutes from here. Right. So, but the thing is, is. I really like the idea of paying a premium fee, but not for a specific amount of data. Like, I don't right. like the idea of saying, okay, well, you can only go to here, and if you pass this, we're not just going to charge you, like, for example, if it's $10 for 200 megabytes or whatever, mm -hmm. and then it's $25 for between 200 and whatever else, like 400. Yep. Let's just throw numbers out there. 
it, you can't say, okay, well, we're going to charge you $10 for that, and you say, okay, that's what I want. And then if you go over that, they go, okay, we're going to charge you per kilobyte now. Right, right. Like, that's stupid. If you're going to use that amount of data, then just charge the amount of money that comes on the contract. Like, say, okay, well, if you go to over 200, mm -hmm. then we're just going to bump you up for that month to that plan. Just like Hotspot on the on the Evo, you don't pay monthly for it. Mm. It's just per use. Like if you use it that month, you pay the monthly fee for it for yeah. the eight person Hotspot. Oh, that's the other thing. I just want to show everybody this. On the Evo and 2.2, you do in fact have USB tethering right. to one device. Yeah, one device. Um, and now I'm gonna totally forget where it where it is. Um, yeah, I don't want to deal with this right now. But no, seriously, you can USB tether, which is so rad. Um, yep. I like never use it. I haven't used it yet, but, no, but if I saw it, and you can use it. It is usable, which is um, which is nice. Yeah, that's a great. Little, I, I really like nice that little feature as long as they don't start charging. Glenn, for it. it does not look like there's going to be an extra charge for the USB tethering. Right, not yet. Yeah, see, everyone's like it's rad, as Ashley would say. I do. I say rad a lot. Mm. Um, I'm bad. I'm stuck in the '80s. I didn't notice that. Yeah, I say I, I guess I do say that a lot, but yeah, um, I just I don't, I don't understand this whole like oh we're gonna charge you for a tier and then we're gonna just through the nose it's gonna be you know yeah. if you go over it's gonna be through the nose like that doesn't seem right. Right, I mean it should just take you up to the next level. Yeah. The next stage on the plan, and yeah. then charge you for that that month. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I just I, that seems silly. Um, speaking of AT and T, mm. uh, Rim and AT and T sent out this mystery invite <laughs> yeah. for an event. Now. <laughs> there's there's two different options that could be happening here. We're guessing that it's going to be the new BlackBerry. The slider. The the um actually the, yeah the slider. I think they might show slider and then the OS slider 6. and then BlackBerry six. And maybe one more thing. And maybe uh, <laughs> I am so like confused and befuddled by this. Uh, apparently, Rim this week registered the domain name blackpad.com. Yep. Which you know. Let's just put it out there. What a terrible name for a device. If that is actually in development, I hope it's not. And and BlackBerry <sighs> and RIM yeah. have been known to take over domain names that might oddly fringe relate to whatever it is they're working on. Yeah, so they may sure. just be doing it to cover themselves. Or to throw people off. Or to throw people off, but RIM, if you're watching, if anybody at RIM is watching, anybody at BlackBerry, anybody, like, Please do not name your product the Black Pad. You will give me. But it's it ties everything. It's a fodder. Blackberry, a Black Pad. It makes sense. It's a. It would be. It would be less bad if they called it a Padberry. Like, I know there's a bunch of. Uh, I mean that's uh, terrible in and of itself. Padberry or. Uh, the Padberry. Mm -hmm. I just. Uh, Berry board. Uh, Somebody on. I was listening to the Engadget podcast God. today, and one of the users there had a good name, which was the Blackboard. Yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. That seems... The Blackboard. And well, and with the new BlackBerry 6 stuff, mm -hmm. yeah, I like Crackpad. That's perfect. <laughs> I like Crackpad because you know what? BlackBerry users are like, they're very fanatical about their devices. Yeah. I mean, their web, like one of their new sites is Crackberry. Yeah. Like, let's call it the Crackpad because <laughs> it's like crack. People and their Blackberries, like they just, they're always on them. I, I mean, I'm always on my phone too, but... That's beside the point. <laughs> that's right. That has I mean, nothing really, to do with that's BlackBerry where you're going. users. <laughs> no, but seriously, I like I just I very much so. Blackboard, very great idea. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of the OS. If you look mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. if you look at BlackBerry six, it looks like colored chalk on a blackboard. Mm -hmm. Like it looks it looks nice. Blackboard. But Blackboard. Yeah. What a great idea. Novel. If, we'll see. If, if we'll see even, how if, that goes. If there's even a device, which is I mean, it, it would be surprising if the what <laughs> rim would want to make a tablet in the first place. I, that does seem odd. Because what would they use it for? Just a big know. thing to type emails on, type messages? There yeah, because like... it's not really a multimedia. It's yeah. not a multimedia device in the way that the iPhone exactly. is not... or the Evo yeah, is. It's not for consuming content like that. Yeah, I So just... it seems a strange move uh, just for business use, really. It does seem odd. But I don't know. It could be, it could be genius. Uh, the rim tab. I really like, um, I like <laughs> Willie V. Wade says, crack pad sounds like a swanky crack den. Hey man, you want to come down to my it's crack, crack pad? pad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I, I just I gotta stop making fun of that. But yeah, nope. apparently in, at AT and T stores, some of them, uh, like, I think they're saying flagship stores. There's these weird black like columns that they've placed oh, in I these heard stores. About this. Have you heard about no. this? They've put these. I guess like either AT and T or Rim had. Um, yes, whatever it is, Nuno, you're right. It won't be magical. 
Um, that's that sad. Why are they going to be magical? These, they've put these big black columns. Like, they literally go from, like, floor to ceiling, hmm. almost, in the stores. And they have, like, I think it's a blue, like, neon light underneath it. Hmm. And it's it's obviously connected to this. You think so? This, oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's to the yeah, the event next week. Totally. Right, right. And and so but but they're saying like that AT T employees apparently like in stores, they are not allowed to even joke about what's underneath there. <laughs> well, that, like or they could get ridiculous. fired. Like they're saying like do not mention it, like don't talk about it. They're they not allowed they to know what's in there. They don't even know what's in there. I believe that, but I doubt that they told them not to joke about it. I apparently like they're I bet saying they said, do don't not talk, talk about, about it. it at all. No <laughs> don't jokes, crack jokes, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I bet they said not. not well, not they about. probably said don't crack jokes because they don't want people, guys like us coming to the store, and being like, "Hey, man, is that the black pad under there?" Ha ha ha. And like then, a, like a couple of jerks. Well, you could. That's okay. I guess so. Yeah. They're watching out for people like you. Yeah, they're, yeah that's exactly what they're doing. They're protecting themselves from people like me. Ah, that's a little stretch. <laughs> so, um, Google Maps updated again for mm. Android, mm. Uh, and I, I I will show you this. Um, there is. On Google Maps now, they're, they updated to 4.4, Maps 4.4, um, and they have, ugh, why am I doing this? I'm sorry. It's so hard to, it's so hard to navigate during the show. I always feel like such an idiot, because um, I can barely see my screen. This is glare. Um, it is glare for me. No, it's me, glare. Oh, gosh. Um, sorry, guys. That light's just, like, right on there. Um, but, yeah, so they have, like, a... They have this new thing where you can do dedicated places, which is pretty cool. Um, it's actually a new icon to your launcher. So if you pull up your launcher, I'm going to work with you guys on this, there I you promise. Go. That looks good. Um, you can go to places, which yeah. is right here. There. And you can, it's sort of like, it's very Yelp like. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, which is kind of cool. I really like that you can add um, any specific type of search mm -hmm. like that you want, or you can look, I mean, like bars, that's my favorite. Oh boy. Like, I could just look up a bar, or a hotel, or coffee, <laughs> I can pick a, pick something, <laughs> and uh, like, if I want to go have coffee, right. I can do that. And, and so, very much so, this is kind of a really cool, um, again, Yelp-like, but you can, uh, just like Yelp, you can check business hours. This is the funnel mill. We got all this stuff. There's Starbucks, like all these reviews and everything. Um, really cool if you ask me. And also, if you are um, if you are on BlackBerry, you can, you will also be getting this update, like apparently. What are you talking about? Oh, the Google Places for yeah. uh, BlackBerry as well. Yeah. But uh, that will not be getting, that iPhone right there will not be getting places. It doesn't have any of the good Google stuff, does Anytime it? Anytime soon. No, that's, I have to make do with mobile me stuff. Whatever mobile me can give me, I have to. Uh, that's depressing. Because, like, I really, I gotta say, I really love Google navigation. I mean, I thought I loved Sprint navigation on my pre. Right. Like, I really liked it on the pre. I was like, oh, Sprint Nav is so much better now. Yeah. But I really love Google navigation. I, I use it all the time. Mm -hmm. I just, I really love it. It's free, I can't believe it. Yeah, and it's free. And it's, it's just turn by turn, it's so beautiful, it, it's so responsive, I just, I really like it. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see if people, if you guys end up actually getting places at some point, but I, I don't know. I'll just have to use Yelp in the meantime. Yeah, you'll just have to use Yelp, sorry. That's okay, Yelp's, Yelp's good. So uh, Android and me brought up an interesting concept about this um, places thing. So yeah. when you install maps, or when you update maps, I'm sorry, you get the, you get the places launcher icon. Mm. It automatically adds it. Mm. And uh, this brought up a discussion about how um, a user, there apparently there's no limit on, on launcher icons mm -hmm. that you can add to the launcher. Uh, so they were talking about, apparently there's not. So they were talking about um, like, this guy who's a developer just did a real quick thing that just added a whole bunch of icons mm. to the launcher and it was like, it was like 10 or 15 icons. I mean, you could literally spam the launcher. Mm -hmm. And uh, Google, like this, that could be a problem. Uh, it does not seem like a good idea to not have a cap on that. Like, just saying. Like, I mean, just putting it out there. I'm, I mean, there's nothing in the software that stops it, like, at, uh, you know, at some number? No. 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 Nope. Hmm. That seems odd. And apparently, like, uh, from everything that I've heard, like, when you put something up on the Android market, it's up, like, that. Yeah. I mean, it is up. Yeah. Like, you submit it, and it's right up there. I just, I, uh, like, it surprised me to read that article and realize that 
in fact, you could have an unlimited number of launcher icons come with your app. Like, mm. that freaks me somebody out can... a little bit. Somebody can, like, just spam me if I, like, want to go get a Android lightsaber or something, and there's, like, 400 Star Wars icons in my launcher now. I have to sort through all of them. Like, that would make uh, me crazy. That's no good, see? Yeah, that's not good at all. How are they going to fix that? I don't know. I, I, I'll, it'll be interesting to see if somebody sort of picks up on that and they cap it at something. Maybe it's like three. Because three seems like the most. Mm. I mean, three se I mean, even two. Um, I really like everyone's talking about this. Uh, everyone's talking about uh, editing movies in Android. Oh. Which we can't do. You can, you can clip the ends. Right. But that's it. Yeah, why is that? No editing. Uh, cut that late. Oh, no, actually, you can't even trim them. Really? No. Nothing like I can't do anything. It's just what you have. That's odd. I, I mean, gingerbread, I'm surprised there isn't a third party. Gingerbread will have But something. that there isn't a third party solution for that. I mean, I'm uh, shocked that there's not a third party I can't party believe solution. it. I assume there would be something somewhat similar to iMovie. Shocks me. Um, and, and by the way, if you're out there and you are going to make a movie editing app, like, and you don't know how to program, that's okay because App Inventor is finally sending out beta invites. Mm. We talked about this last week. Yeah. Where you can sign up and it's all drag and drop interface, sort of what, yeah, you, see you, is what you get. Can you make a video editing app using that? That seems a bit complicated. I don't know. And I don't think you could do that. It would be an interesting, uh, it'd be an interesting challenge for somebody. Mm, if it's even possible. Maybe. Uh, probably not. But I have faith. So I have faith that Google is going to give us a video editing. Yeah, I mean, it should be option. part of. It should be just like a photo taker. It should be part of the, uh, you know. I mean, you do have to pay for iMovie. It doesn't just come with it. Yeah, it's, it, well, it's it five bucks. Five dollars for a really neat five um, whole dollars. Which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Yeah, it does. And Glenn, everyone's like, no, there's no way you could do it. It's, uh, yeah, seems like video editing would be too complicated for App Inventor. You, you guys are probably right. I, but I'm, I just, I'm, yeah. I'm right. I said that first. Oh, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you said Mike. You're right. <laughs> um, it's a sad day for Android, like Android oh. users this week. Again, another phone. I thought it was dead already. I thought it was dead already. I had I'm, no idea. You know, I I knew I, it was still around. I didn't know. Um, but uh, yeah, this G, is amazing. One. So we all knew this was inevitable, Android, Android Army, and we all knew this day would come. But it still hurts. T-Mobile finally pulled the granddaddy of Android phones, mm. the G1, uh, the first Google phone, from its store. Yeah. You cannot get the first Google phone anymore. Oh. Rest in peace. Let's just let's take a moment. Again, a moment of silence. All right. Okay. Here, who, who I like your rolling eyes. Uh, who's been buying them for the last however many months? I don't know, but it's been around for almost two years. I don't get that. Which is, I mean, the, uh, that's a long time for a phone. I know. That is a really long time. I mean, time when, for you, a phone. when you see it now, it's just so sort of quaint and big. Yeah, it does. It's a little bit like a brick. It's so chunky. It is a little bit of an antique now. Mickey Mickey's like Which it's an antique only now. From yes, two years ago. If you have a G1, hold on to it because it could be worth money someday. I told I told my friend who had a Nexus One. I'm like that Nexus One is a collector's item now. Yeah, it is. Some sort of weird in some sort of weird future in which like we've moved beyond this. <laughs> right. Like you know, mobile It'll handheld be an, devices. Real It'll be in your brain. It'll yeah. be a true artifact for like. You know, people who collect weird old like mobile phone stuff. We used to use these all the time for talking, oh, man, looking, I remember looking this play. Thing. We used to call it the internet. <laughs> we used to be able to use it to access the internet. Um, yeah, no, I just it's uh, I I gotta say, G1, it was nice while it lasted. You started it all. You mm. really did, and uh, we will miss you. Um, but. Not a whole lot because we have phones like the Evo and the Epic and right. the Captivate and the <laughs> Galaxy and we have all these. But you guys, but but that you guys with the G1 and T-Mobile, you guys at T-Mobile, you have pioneers. Pioneers. Pioneers of Android. Yeah. Pioneers. So hats off. Yes, hats off. I like that. I can't. I won't say. I won't say tip of the hat because then I have. I have to you pay have to Stephen wag, Colbert. Yeah, you have to wag your finger I have to pay Stephen Colbert a dollar. Um, but uh, yeah. So rest in peace, G1. It was it was nice while it lasted. Play some sad music. We actually had one here. Yeah. To bid farewell Michael Ludden has one. Still, well, I thought he finally. I thought so he, finally, he got rid of it. No, finally, he still has it. I'm sure he still tinkers with it. I mean, I still have my first iPhone. Do it's, you? In, it's in my closet in a little box. In a little box. Are yeah. you gonna pull it out for nostalgia when you're 80 years old? Oh, well, whenever the new iPhone comes out, I always pull it out and compare it to the first <laughs> you're one. Just like, oh god. Look at this. Is, oh. Just probably looks like some old archaic device, and it only came out a few years ago. I know. That's so it strange looks, to look yeah. at phones that were out like three years ago and look at now. Nothing as bad as the first That's iPod. That's amazing. Though. Yeah. Yeah, the old iPod. Oh, the first iPod. God, I you mean, you could kill somebody with that. that just if you looks, hit somebody in the face with an old iPod, oh, another error. That would be death. You would you would be seriously injured. But at the time, somebody wow. said you should frame your phone. 
We should frame Oh, I may put it in like a little, in a little light, light box. box. Yeah. That'll be nice. All right. Um, Apple has been uh, Apple's been sort of on the offensive. They've been really upset about this antenna. Although thing. they've cooled down. They have cooled down. I think they got but they're still putting out movies. Are they? Of, of I don't Death think Grips. they've done it since last week. No, they've not put up a oh, new last movie week. since last week. Like last week, I, I said that's getting a little bit out of hand. It is and, getting a little bit. Out yeah, of hand. I think if I get to that point, then somewhere inside there, I've gotten to that point too. Yeah, that's but, true. Well, I know for you to say it's gotten out of hand, that's that's serious, Mike. I mean, no, that's, that's like, okay. Wow. That's, that's enough. That's enough. But. Anyway, the reason we brought it up is because Motorola, Motorola fought back. They, they came yeah. out swinging. They <laughs> were of. fed up. Let me tell you, they were fed up. Yeah, the death grip is a feature. I like that. It's a it is a, it's a feature. special so, feature, a magical one. feature. <laughs> um, so Motorola took out this amazing, mean ad. I don't like, go that far. I like when it was it, just I like bit, when companies just come out swinging. Yeah, like I just like you know what? No, the gloves are off. Well, because yeah, because Apple kind of called them out. And they're like, hey. Your junk doesn't work either. Yeah, and you so know, uh, it's not really true, but uh, so Motorola's ad copy, the very first thing it says is "No jacket required." Yeah, that's it. That's basically the. No jacket you, required. You get it. I like it. Because your phone, yeah. And you the ad copy to. said, "At Motorola, we believe a customer mm. shouldn't have to dress up their phone for it to work properly. Mm. That's why the Droid X comes with a dual antenna design." Oh. The kind that allows you to hold the phone <laughs> any way you like to make crystal clear calls without a bulky phone jacket. Oh my gosh. For us, That's it's a... just one of those things that comes as a given when you've been making mobile phones for over 30 years. Yeah, that's, oh. that is, yeah, that's, that's pretty intense. That's pretty that is just, intense wording. That's a, that's a, that's a little, hey, how you doing to the face. <laughs> it is, I, it is. I, I like when companies, because companies are usually so reserved. And yeah. I really like oh, when they just, just come out and they're just mad. It's so competitive. I mean, I and plus it. Apple has been ruling the roost for so long, people can't wait for a little people like vulnerability, a which I, I'm not saying they don't deserve it, because yeah. it is a weird thing going on with that yeah. antenna design, and they never really did admit that. Yeah, what, they still haven't said, like, oh, that was our bad. Yeah, like, hey, guess what? Having an antenna on the outside that you can touch Maybe is not, not as, the best idea It's not ever. the best idea. It, it works. It works. But it's a compromise that they never really admitted to. Right. Why don't they? They should have just said, "Our bad." And I can. Sorry. About I'm that. sure the next phone, not or whatever. The every next... other phone has this problem. This is I this know. is not our fault. I mean, it's exacerbated by the external antenna, and they wouldn't admit that. But that's just silly. But I'm sure the next phone, whatever it is, during the press conference, the keynote, I'm sure there'll be some kind of demonstration of how you cannot make the bars go down. I'm no matter, sure. No matter yeah. how you hold this, some, the next iPhone. Yeah. They're gonna <laughs> in the next iPhone. There will be no death gripping and oh, yeah. Like which that. I mean. Uh, to me, it means they're going to just have to completely redesign it, which I thought they would stick with this for at least two generations. They probably thought they were going to, and now they probably so nice. had to scrap the whole thing. I, just, I mean, Ugh. I don't want to go Ouch. talk about it again, but I just don't know how that kind of happened where, in the testing, it didn't go down so much where they said, people are going to talk about this, or this is going to be an issue for people. Yeah. It's just very I mysterious. Where Steve's so in love with it, he's like, I don't care. Put it out there. <laughs> hey. That was fast. That was really fast. I just said hey, Steve. You guys, I guess, yeah, you're yeah, really oh, I mean, good. I was talking about Apple. They were ready on the button. I know. You might say Steve Jobs. He's ready, yeah. They're like, oh, it's an Apple story. Be ready. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, so they deserve that ad. I think that's okay. Yeah, yeah that's okay. I, I, I appreciate and thank you. I appreciate you saying that it's gotten a little out of hand. Oh, you don't have to thank me for that. I just like, it, because, it's because over no, now. it takes, it, because here's the thing. A lot of times, like, people who are really into Apple, like, like Steve, like, if they, <laughs> like, if they were, like they just don't want to admit that there's a problem, or they don't want to admit that it's gone out of hand, or they don't want to admit that maybe this was not the best way to go about it. Right. But at least you're willing to admit that, and thank you for that. I appreciate it. It doesn't take much, I have to say. I just I appreciate I appreciate your honesty. I'm reasonable. Come on. I appreciate I'm not your crazy. I appreciate I appreciate your logic, sir. Uh, that's the least I try. I try to do at least a little bit of that. So I want to talk about these super LCDs. Oh, you do. Yeah. Okay. So um. The Incredible still has a pretty bad shortage. Yeah. If you want an HTC Droid Incredible, uh, you're going to wait. How long is the current wait? Uh, well, people have been getting them. They've been having small shipments coming out all summer, mm -hmm. but I think now it's pushed back like August 25th. <laughs> pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, not good. It's like um, So HTC, we had talked about a few weeks ago, HTC, uh, there was a rumor going around that maybe they were going to build their own screens at the end of the year. They were going to yeah, announce yeah, something yeah, to do yeah, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, Which what they're is... doing is uh, they're actually um, going to go ahead and switch to super LCDs. Well, now let me ask you, are they, I thought they were having an option. They're not, are they not switching, right? There's like they're going to have the option to specify a super LCD or AMOLED. No, I think that they're well, going that's, to... That sounds crazy. I have a feeling that they're going to do, like the International Nexus like one, changing... they're just going to change it to Super LCD. Okay, yeah, but what about like the Incredible? 
the Incredible. They'll, no, they're going to. I would be shocked. I think they even said that um, that they wouldn't switch the Incredible to Super LCD unless unless this change uh, didn't help. Like, it, it, the change is for the Desire and the Global Nexus one and mm-hmm. maybe a couple other phones, but they didn't name the Incredible specifically, and I think when someone asked them, um, they said, if if doing this doesn't help, like, phones like the Incredible with the shortage, then they're going to switch. I don't know. I think they are going to do it. I mean, is the Desire, is there any shortage of the Desire? I mean, why are they doing it for that? Why aren't they doing it with the ones that well, have the Well, but that's the, what I'm saying. It's not demand. a shortage, but that's the thing. There's no shortage there. So you're saying so they're just testing it? So switch out the AMOLEDs for phones that are not necessarily the highest end that people want AMOLED for. Like, there's no shortage of Desires, so switch out Super LCD for the Desires and then that use those sense. AMOLEDs for the Incredible. Well, okay. I, I mean, I guess that might make sense. Like, it's basically saying, like, these phones They're are not in freeing demand. They're just freeing up demand and or people freeing are, up supply for and the... And someone who's going to buy a Desire does not need... A, like, no offense if someone has a Desire out there, but if you have a Desire, you don't need... A, you're not in the... You're not buying the phone for a Super AMOLED screen. Probably not. So, you don't need it. Like, that's that's what it seems hmm. like to me. Yeah, okay. So, I like, it seems like they're saying, okay, we're going to switch these out. I thought they were just going to have it as an option. No, I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think so. Oh, so, okay. So we'll see. I mean, I saw a video actually today. There was um, someone had the new Super LCD, and they were testing it. Looks nice. Against AMOLEDs and against, You'll I think, another... You'll be able to another, see it outside. Uh, that's a big, that's yeah, a big the bonus. Yeah, the cool thing is the viewing angle was pretty good yeah. on it, but it's not like an IPS display like an iPhone. So it didn't have yeah. all the viewing, but the vertical viewing angle was good, and it had um, the color reproduction was better, more true than the AMOLEDs, which are a little bit too vibrant sometimes the reds yeah. and the greens it was more there's natural a saturation yeah over saturation so and sony i think there's a it's a joint venture between sony and sharp they're gonna make these S- slcds yeah. for htc it'll be interesting to see i i, I mean I, samsung's got that factory opening in 2012 right yeah, yeah, yeah. december of 2012 but that's for 2012. the 2012 <laughs> december 2012 2012 yeah. um that's for the smashable plastic um yeah ml leds so well, and we've got a couple of people in our chat room saying that the Desire is still in pretty huge demand. So maybe, is it? Uh, yeah, so, maybe maybe it will be an option. You might be right. I hope I'm right, because I, I occasionally like to be right. Occasionally. It feels good. So well, HTC is also um, they're doing uh, Windows Phone Seven. I I find very uh, I find Windows Phone Seven to be very odd. Like I and, I'm very curious to see it. Like I, I I'm actually excited about like. Holding one yeah, and, and looking it, through it, using Metro it, UI and checking sure. it out and yeah, everything. Absolutely. But like, <laughs> HTC made an announcement saying that they were going to have Sense on Windows Phone 7. Yeah, there was a picture of it even. Yeah. Which I thought goes against everything Microsoft is trying to do with Windows Phone 7. Right. <laughs> I, like, I, I don't understand. If you're going to make this like Metro UI, like the stock Android UI is created to be customized. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the point well, of it. For now, yeah. For now. And, and I'm sure it will continue to be. You think? Well, they were talking about that this week. This is in the same type of story. Like, they were saying um, that uh, with Gingerbread, they weren't worried. HTC wasn't worried about being, like, locked out of that experience. Like, they'd still be able to do it. Right. But I think that, um, I think it'll almost be a case of, uh, <laughs> I get, I like bringing up World of Warcraft all the time because this is, like, how I relate to things. <laughs> so, in World of Warcraft... For example, mm-hmm, you have UI design, and at the very beginning of the game, it was a very simple user interface, and then you had to have UI add-ons mm-hmm. to customize your experience. Mm. And now that the game has been out for a few years, they've actually absorbed some of the ideas from those add-ons oh, yeah, yeah. and brought them into the UI, mm-hmm. like folded them into the UI very seamlessly and very well. Um, so, like Outfitter was like one of the things that you could have where you, you know, it was a separate UI thing where an add-on where you could choose your different outfits. Like if you were in town, you could have regular clothes. If you were fighting, you would have this, you know, this setup of armor, blah, blah, blah. Um, But yeah, so I have a feeling that that's what's going to happen with Android. Like they're going to pick their favorite parts of different you think? Uh, different and, uh, UIs saying Google is gonna, and like, sort of find a way to fold them into 3.0. I don't know, but they have their own people now. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if they would do that. I think they're going to strike out their own path. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. And then, well, I mean, the Windows Phone 7 thing, I don't even, it just doesn't seem real to me that that's actually going to ship. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, uh, but uh, it's all the HTC Windows Phone 7 devices are going to have this. They're going to have sense on them in some kind of sense. Some kind of sense. Mm. That doesn't make sense. 
No, that, I see what I did does there. not make sense. All right, um, Mike, talk to me about this Digital Millennium Copyright Act thing. Uh, okay, I'll try to talk to you about this. Um, Library of Congress. That's, yeah, it's a little bit dry, but... Um, I, the, we'll, just bri we'll just briefly go over it. Yeah, okay, well, basically, no, it's uh, no although longer... Although it's completely complex and yeah, confusing. Yeah, but basically, you're no longer going to... It's not illegal, it's not going to be illegal to jailbreak your phone. Yeah, to use, which it was. I didn't even know it was before. I didn't know that it was either, but... That it's not illegal to um, violate whatever protections that Apple might, or Apple or Google or anyone might put in place in their OS. Uh, but with that said, this being legislation, it's also, but it, it's also now illegal to distribute jailbreaking tools. So it's okay to jailbreak, but not okay to distribute the tools that allow you to do so. Which is it changes nothing. It's just a really. It <laughs> changes nothing. Well, if you well, were going to do it before, square. you were going to do it anyway. If you, yeah. It's not going to stop anybody. So, but it's been on, it's sorry, on the books now. Yeah. It's official. It's the same thing. So it's okay. I just, yeah, that seems... Why does this have to be on the books? Can I just say, because like, of the why e does this well, have because to be on the, the books? What is it? The EFF, the Electronic get, oh, Frontier Foundation. Because like, the EFF cares about it. They ridiculous... they lobby. Because they have lobbyists. They I lobbied guess. for this. That's just, ugh, what and they got what they wanted. What a waste of resources. <laughs> and it, yeah, do you really, is really, this is important to them, but it is. So yeah, that seems. But silly. you know, it is important to companies and how they deal with software. So it does have relevance to them, not so much for the end user. Yeah. Theory Savage says, "Pull the tags off the mattresses." I agree. Exactly. Um, so there's a contest happening, and I want to. We're almost done with the news, but I like. There's a contest happening. Uh, it's for Nokia, but it's a really cool. It's a really cool. Yeah, contest. I mean, if, if this app is, does what it says. Yeah, this um, this company called Frame Store, mm. or it's a, it's a, it's like a FX. It's an FX house. company. Yeah, they yeah, it's an FX house. They do uh, all kinds of visual effects for different movies the and movie, TV. TV I, I mean, all sorts of stuff. Walking with dinosaurs and stuff. And they're, yeah, they're working with Nokia to sponsor this contest for an app that's under development called FX Studio, where, which is an app that lets you add visual effects to your mobile movies. I mean, this needs to be on iPhone. This is a great idea. It looks really cool. I mean, we'll see it in the video, but like, these aren't cheap doodles. Like, these are these are pretty good quality. Yeah. Um, and this is really cool stuff for your phone flicks. Can we run that video of the contest? Hi, I'm Davi. I'm an animation director at Framestore the studio that creates visual effects for Hollywood movies such as Avatar, Prince of Persia, and Sherlock Holmes. Currently, I'm working on a project with Nokia called FX Studio. FX Studio is a mobile app that allows people to add Hollywood quality special effects to their own video clips. You just upload your footage and choose from a menu of impressive special effects created by Framestore's Oscar-winning digital artists. Using highly defined CG and 3D technology, we've created over 20 original effects, and this is where you come in. We want a new effect to add to FX Studio sci-fi collection. We've got UFOs, we've got lasers, we've even got alien tentacles. But now we want something else. We're not looking for a finished effect. We just want to see a simple sketch or a scamp of an animated effect that you would like to see on the app. The idea we like the best will win. As well as earning some pretty great prizes, you get to work with Framestore on making your idea a reality. Anyone with an imagination is welcome to contribute. Really cool. I don't get I'm how that works. I'm dying for that on my Android. How, do that, how does that work? How do they track the CG effects onto I, the footage? I don't footage? know. I'm, I'm dying for this. I, want, I totally want to try this. I, but they're apparently this contest, they're going to give out like an N8. They're going to give out. And all you have to do is just think of an idea. Yeah, you don't even have to like render this effect. You no, just have to draw just it, draw describe it. Cheap, cheap sketch, describe it, enter on I Facebook. Mean, something that and also can be done somehow in the phone. So cool. But that software could be cool. I mean, if they add like um, chroma key stuff so you can do like green screen, yeah. they really have a lot of fun. I'm I mean, what a really that. innovative. Mm -hmm. Really, really innovative. Um, I Do you want to talk about the light leak? Um, uh, we'll just do it Yeah, briefly. let's just mention that there were some more, because um, the white iPhone is still been Again, delayed. delayed. Later no, this year Later, now. not even a date. Not even a month or a date, just delayed this year. And so some more details are coming out about maybe why they're still having trouble manufacturing it. It's not the antenna issue, but um, they just can't get the white opaque enough, really, that light yeah. is shining Apparently through. Apparently there's a light leak. Through either around the edges or through the actual front panel itself on the white, they can't get it as opaque as the black. Yeah. And so it just know. it's light's leaking through, and so they're having a hard time fixing that. All right. Oh, there it is. Yeah, light leak. Weird. Like, what a... You don't want to see that, and I'm sure it just, it just look... I still say it yellows. Unex and, oh, yeah, then that too wasn't... I hear there's some yellow. Not white enough. We'll see. Yeah, and, and Mickey Mickey has mentioned, he's like, how about an antenna fix? There might be some truth to them trying desperately to figure out how to just, if there's a quick fix that they can do Without to those. Without altering this, 
without altering the design, so that way they won't have to start from scratch again. Ah, that just seems like what, oh, what on earth money. would it be? I mean, I'm sure I, I, they have, they don't have amateur antenna engineers there. I still don't know what what the heck happened. Well, they were but they and, were housed in those iPhone 3G like hiding cases. Oh, so cases. you're saying that the case? Yeah, but they acted as it acted as a jacket for it. It it didn't but cause that attenuation they're, issue. They're so aware. They they know that. I am not they from Cleveland, just so you know. Well, have you got a Cleveland accent? So I, I maybe like, I don't know. Mm, Drew Carey's so. from Cleveland. You don't sound like Drew Carey. No, I don't. It's time for epic win, epic fail. We're not going to be short. We are going to make this hey. show an hour. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this is really cool. This guy is pretty awesome. A lot of people have been seeing linking up their Wiimotes uh, to their Androids, yeah. but uh, we're pretty impressed by this. Mm. This guy has it up and running on his Droid X of Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, so let's watch that video. And now. You can see and it works. Yeah, right then, that guy jumps right into that no, hole. No, I mean, then the first thing he did, the poor guy would die. First thing, he jumps right into a I would have taken the video again. Why? I'm trying to show off how responsive it is. I know, when you're trying to show like, off, look, it's like, it works, hey, it's look great. at how awesome I am at Mario Brothers 3. Yeah. Like, not, look at how I fail hitting a Goomba. But anyway, it's but anyway, still our epic win of the week, because yeah, that's, that's really cool. It's a, what a way to play that. Perfect way to play yeah. on your little phone. I mean, what a great, I mean, I think that's just great. Um, but yeah, he's kind of a noob. <laughs> Don't say that. So, speaking of noobs, yeah. this brings us to our epic fail. It's a weird one. Oh, Dell. Uh, the streak, there was a blog post made earlier this week, and an, it was an announcement for pricing and availability for the streak, the yeah. Dell streak, which is that five inch mini monstrosity of a, a cell phone. No, I call it a mini tablet. It is sort of like a mini, it's like it right in between. It happens to be a phone. Yeah, you it just happens it to be a phone. It's just, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's a giant. It's I mean, it. this is, people, this is 4.3 inches, and this is. Huge, like it. I mean, that's an extra. I, it's just ridiculous. An extra, like I don't. I, a whole extra inch. I mean, it dwarfs that. That's thing. Yeah, it dwarfs this, yeah. which is just ridiculous. So they announced two ninety nine. Yeah. On a on a two year contract, a VGA only video, uh, VGA only video, and Android one point six. That's gross. Uh, fail, fail, fail. Like yeah. I'm just, like <laughs> that's just like that's like the hat trick of fail. If it's true, because uh, apparently they pulled that blog post and mm. pushed the release date back for the streak. No hard date anymore. Right. Um, and no some. idea when they'll ever even mention it again. What do you? It's but coming out, but it will Two ninety nine. Well, what? listen, I think that's that's the price. It's big. It can't be one ninety nine. It's so much bigger. That's than no. a one ninety nine phone. That's the, the value the dumbest is there. reasoning. That is just terrible logic. I'm sure they're dumping one point six. One point six. I mean, oh. How, Old Ugh. is that? And the VGA, what are they going to do about that? That's two builds ago. I know. Two. Two. Not even one. Like 2.1, <laughs> I could understand. Right, like, oh, we've been developing the phone. We got 2.1. Sure. Okay, fail, okay. Dell, fail. I'm sorry. I just, just, I can't even talk about this anymore. Fail. Dell streak, fail for now, fail. Uh, so let's get into our new segment. It'll be quick, but it's called Show Us Your Tips. <laughs> 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 and our, our masterful. Uh, <laughs> Our masterful graphics people are working on a oh, shoot, uh, yeah. very provocative, hilarious well, we should explain segment what this, bumper. What this is? So we've gotten requests from viewers to do a quick segment uh, now and again for people who are just getting into smartphones. Like uh, there's a lot of people who are coming from feature phones, and a lot more people are coming from dumb phones. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I thought those were the same thing. No, well, dumb phones, phones are dumb just phones like 
just feature phones are sort of like an in between. Now there were smartphones and then everything else. Where you could access the internet a little bit and like, no, 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 that's not true. Mm. Like if it was just a little like candy bar like Nokia phone, that would be a dumb phone because there's no like you can't really surf the internet. Not really. You can't do anything. No. Anyway, so um, a lot of people want to kind of do like a little bit of uh, a little bit of 101, mm -hmm. like entry level. Simple stuff for advanced users like us, but like things that people might not know about their phones if they're just getting into the smartphone world. Maybe. So, um, so I'll do mine for Android yeah. this week. Okay. And uh, feel free to send them to us on Twitter. I'm at Android Ashley, and you could send your iPhone tips to at Valis23. Yeah, I'm gonna do a specific tweet about it later. Yeah, and and I do every now and then. Like you're gonna hear stuff, and and you'll see me on Twitter say, hey, like what's your tip for this week, or like what's something you could tell somebody who's new. Mm -hmm. So my tip this week is the long press feature, and um, it's something that a lot of people don't really know about. Like if you just get an Android phone, you're just like, I don't understand. Like you know what like to see somebody do that you're just like wow I never knew my phone had, had that capability right. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up um, I'm gonna get away from the glare here uh, so we have these capacitive buttons here on the bottom uh, that HTC so kindly gives us mm. um, and uh, the search button is my favorite <laughs> um, I, I really love it because this is uh, yes theory savage is right the long press usually makes something awesome happen so if I'm looking for let's say I wanted to go to Disneyland I hold it down and it'll say Google search and it'll be a uh, it'll be a microphone navigate to Disneyland and it'll work and it'll say navigate to Disneyland and you can hit go and it'll pull up your navigation and you hit accept that's terrific and it'll pull up your nav, and it'll say waiting for location, search for your GPS, and it'll tell you exactly where you're going, which is awesome. It'll take me an hour and 39 minutes to Disneyland. Let's go. Um, and you can also use the search feature for a ton of other things, as long as you use the keyword in front of it. So like, for example, if you want to navigate somewhere, you say navigate to, and then let's say you want to navigate to your friend's house that's in your contacts on your phone. Mm -hmm. So you would say, navigate to my cobs. Yay. And it would pull up my cobs, and it would be right there, and I could navigate right to your house. If I was looking for, I could say, open flashlight, and it would open the flashlight app. No, wait, this is because of the long press? Yeah. The it's long a, it's press? a voice search. Oh, it's so like on the iPhone. When you hold down. I have no idea what you're talking about. On about. iPhone, when you hold down the home key, it brings up voice control. That's how you bring up voice control. Right. And then I can play music. Um, but yeah. I don't think I can't use it to like navigate to. Well, it's not that sophisticated. It's just like basic controls. Of basic that. controls of things that might be. Yeah, exactly. But that's cool. Really cool. And so there's there's tons of things that you can do. Um, Google Navigate, I believe, does not reroute you based on traffic. You can see it. Sprint will. Like if you look up traffic on Sprint, it'll say, uh, here's you know your time with traffic. Do you want to reroute? Like if there's something going on, you can reroute. Mm -hmm. I, that's one thing I really like about Sprint navigation. It's really, really nice. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that's my tip for this week. Uh, it's and I would like to I would like to thank Chris Waters and Moody Loner for sending that to me. Mm. They, they, they were the ones on Twitter who suggested that. Oh, those were good um, But yeah, really, really cool. And, you know, the, the long press is great. And I, and actually, I'll give you another example of what you can do with the long press. Mm -hmm. So let's say you are um, you are done with that. And let's say, oh, gosh, like you push something and you want to see what your most recent apps are. You just hold down the home button. And in 2.2, you now get eight of your most recent apps that you've opened. Oh. So you can open up any of those, and then like, so if I wanted to use the camera, I could open it, and um, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I, I really like that feature as well. Like, so if you're ever confused about something on your phone, hit menu, long press, see what happens. Like mm, that's yeah. sort of a it's that's a good like nice piece of advice. Yeah, it's fun to experiment and fun to learn your phone that way. Something cool might come up. Yeah. So uh, you got any good tips for your iPhone? I do have a good tip. I had my first tip turn out to be moot because it, they seem to have removed this feature where you could double click the home button and bring up your favorites. Double click and hold and it would bring up your phone favorites. But mm -hmm. that seems to be gone. So in lieu of that, I thought I would share one of my favorite tips, which I discovered myself for iMovie. Um, so I'm, I don't know if a lot of people out there like to use iMovie on their iPhone 4 um, like I do because it's a really fun, easy way to make little short clips. But um, one of the problems with it is that there's no, surprisingly, in the transitions, there's no fade to black option. Which seems there's odd no because that's a very just basic, a basic end of the movie. function that you need. It fades out, or in the beginning it fades in. Um, and so there's no option for this, but there is a very easy way that you can do this. And all you have to do 
is t take your camera, and at some point take a black frame. Just like cover the lens up and take a black frame. And you're going to want to import this black frame into the uh, clip as a still image. I see your cat. So I have a black frame here next to next Commander to me with a mustache and Commander Riker. See me with a mustache in there. So then this black frame is now in the clip, and if I play it, what is what was the cross dissolve now it turns into a little fade in. Which is really nice. Which is really nice. And also at the end, I put another black frame, and then it will fade out just like that. The cross dissolve. Um, but it seems, and it seems like something that you would expect to be an iMovie, and it's not. It's just such a basic thing. But the cool thing about doing it this way is that you can fade to any color frame that you take a picture of. You Which can is great. fade to white, fade in from white or red fade or blue, green, or just whatever. Black, purple, whatever just, you want. So just yeah, take a picture of a color that you want to fade in or out from, yeah. and then just import it as a still image into the clip, and you can fade in and fade out and make really professional-looking endings and beginnings. Yeah, and that's, a, that's a great little tip. Mm. Something that you wouldn't necessarily think of, and, right. but, yeah, but something that you'd be like, hey, why doesn't my phone have fade to black? Especially if you're any kind of filmmaker, like if you like to edit stuff, like yeah. that's like a must-have. Like, you got to have that. And so just dissolve to a black frame, everybody. Yeah, so really, really cool. I really like that. I, 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 was, I was impressed with you for, fa for thinking of that. I'll try to be just as impressive next week. Yeah, please do not let me down. Okay. Otherwise, I'll have to kill you. Great. Um, so we are gonna we are gonna skip app time this week. We have we have another segment called app time. Which we're we were, out of time. We were gonna discuss our favorite apps. We are out of time. Oh no! I mean, there is no more time. My app. It is. All right. Well, we'll talk about that next week. Then. We're we're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna do some good stuff next week. And we're gonna so. try to have a little app showdown maybe. Yeah, we're gonna we're next week we are gonna do. Um, oh yeah, let me. You know what? Mickey Mickey wants to see this, and you know what? I'm gonna show it to you because it is that great. Um, so, I don't have Wi-Fi right now, so hopefully it's not too slow. But um, what are you what are you doing? I am uh, I'm I'm pulling up I'm pulling up a flash site. Oh, that's right. You were gonna. This is gonna be like something from the. Not I was the pull not up the Home Star Runner. Not the future, but. Uh, not the future. Maybe no. an alternate universe of some kind. But um, as you can see. Oh, now I've seen this. That before. is that is Flash. You know, you should have gone to a site with Flash Video. Well, they have Flash Video. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So there it is right there. Does it work? Well, let's find out. Let's go to Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> tunes. Gawak Doze. That's all Flash. That's this like, is all Flash. Yeah. Um, which, let's go with, uh, let's go with Teen Girl Squad, because I think Teen Girl Squad is hilarious. I'm saddened by this. You should be, Mr. Yeah, iPhone. So there you go. That's Flash. You should go to the a... ugly one. I think this has been tested, though. Did they use this as a demonstration of Flash on the phone? No. I think so. No, we did this at the HTC event. I wanted to see it. Oh, that's, that's where it what was. You're remembering that's it. what I'm remembering it from. So yeah, so rad. Like, oh, and that's and that's no Wi-Fi. Like, super cool. Is I don't no have any Wi-Fi wi on right oh, really? now. No, I just have 3G and bars. Mm, very good, very good. So really awesome. Huh? Like I, I love Flash. Do you? Love, love. Flash. You love Flash. So, yeah, but you can't like go in there and play Cake Mania or whatever, right? I could. Really? Yeah. Nah, it's too small. I could feed my fish in Fishville. I don't believe that. Well, I'm not gonna go log in to. They really? I mean, doesn't that not require? Theory Savage. This is not available on the iPhone. <laughs> Who's asking? Who? Yeah, I know. Somebody's asking, is this available on iPhone? But really cool. No, uh, no Wi-Fi for that. Very impressive. Yeah, that's cool. I, I, I'm, I really like it. So, I, I mean, I just, I'm really impressed with 2.2, everybody. I just want to let you guys know. Yeah, well, it is the update you've been waiting for. It is. Uh, it's about that time. What time is that? It's, it's the end of the show. Oh, no. Are I, you kind of sad? I am sad and great. I am a little sad. Because I feel like I didn't get to talk about my favorite app of the week. Well, we're going to, okay, so next week... We're actually going to pit two apps against each other that are alike. Yes. So we're going to do Hipstamatic mm. on the iPhone, big app. which is the yeah big, popular, big deal, big popular app. app. And uh, and we're going to actually do Vignette on Android. And by the way, if you don't have it, you should totally get it if you like taking retro pictures. Mm. Like no other app compares to it. I mean, it is just. I mean, there's some good ones like the um, FX camera is good and right. everything, but Vignette is just amazing. Wow, we're going like, to have a lot great, of options. So we're going to talk about it though next week. We're gonna do app versus app. That's gonna be new. That's Which, gonna be one of our new segments. Yeah. Kind of like spy versus spy. Exactly. 
So can I want to be the white spy. Okay, oh, really? Well, I assumed you'd want to be the black one. The white spy was the cool one. Well, like, why? It's like that sort of like. Yeah, it's been years since I've read. To Mad me, Magazine, like the, the white spy seemed more mysterious. Like it just seemed like the black spy is just like. Yeah. He's just there. Right. I don't know. Like it's just so obvious if you're a spy, you're gonna wear all black. Like, right. It's just, yeah, you wanna so, be. Yeah, I don't know. Different. Yeah. So yeah, I just thought. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do app versus app. Um, which is, and uh, we have not figured out the logistics yet of the hot dog eating contest that one of our Twitter users suggested. Um, I but, say it's uh, totally unfair. I have small stomach. Uh, that's true. I'd probably well. smoke you in that. We'd have to but figure out something else. But it'll still be fun. Else. People want to watch us eat hot dogs. Yeah, then it's okay. I'm done with that. Um, ah, any chance you you can get a comment from Sprint on the cra- on their crappy MMS, Frank? Uh, Frank, I will find out about that. What's wrong with their MMS? Um, you know, I don't have a lot of problems with mine, so Frank, can you Twitter me and let me know, like, what's going on with yours so I can ask? Because I will. Like, oh, you can't send pictures. That's not MMS. That's, yeah, What is that? I mean, yeah, but that's the point of MMS, isn't it, is to send a picture. Yeah, and the compression's really bad. I wonder why that, you know what, on my Evo, uh, I have this issue with sending video. I can't send any of my video. Really? Well, because I, it's so big, and it says it can't, they can't compress it down. But yeah, one of the things that um, some of the, uh, well, yeah, Jacob, Aaron, Jacob, you're gonna love Vignette, by the way. He's like, I'm downloading it now. It's worth the money. You have so many options available to you. Like, you could play with it for just days. Like, you will, you're, it, it's so much fun. Um, but yeah, like, I, very interesting, yeah, and Nuno says, see, a trimmer's really needed, I agree. Like video, you have to be able to trim it down, or at least, at least give me an option to save it in a smaller format. Because the thing is, is like, I can record video, but like, I like to be able to have the bigger version of it hmm. to like transfer over. Right. So I don't want to just auto record it in a little tiny yeah, see, YouTube. The iPhone screen. has like the opposite problem where when I email a video, it compresses it no matter what. I cannot not compress. You can't just leave I can't it send you the 720p version. Um, even if it was like just like a 10 second thing, it wouldn't be that big. It wouldn't be, right. I still can't, it doesn't have the option. That seems, yeah, that seems will, depressing. Yeah, see. They will add it though. Ed, Ed was saying, Handsent can compress pics better than stock client. I use Handsent. So, and it, like, it, it hand sent I think is better. Um, I like I really like it. I, I and I have Vasgar said camera three sixty about the vignette thing is another really good one. I have camera three sixty on my phone and I really really like it. Um, yeah, hand hand sent is uh, I prefer hand sent over the actual te- messages. Really? Yeah, I shut off all my notifications on that. I only use. Well, I mean, I only use that the yeah. Apple the SMS the yeah. regular well, one. Well, no, that, well that's on, but that's still on AT and T's network, which still is. Yeah. Which is fine. So he's sending pictures to Verizon users and they never get them. What an odd thing. Does it I mean, work, Frank? Does it work on other? Does it work for other people, like other carriers? Like, do, can you send Sprint to Sprint? It works fine. Like, I like I. This is just very. Yeah, maybe it's a Verizon issue. Like, I, I agree with that. Maybe you it's better just call a Verizon technical issue. support. Yeah, <laughs> I am technical support. Are you? Well, you, you really, didn't no. really have an answer I for me. I have no idea where to even begin on that. But I can, I mean, I'll ask. It's always a question. You get the tech support yeah, like I him. said, you should Twitter me. And speaking of which. No, he should call technical support, is what he should do. I don't know why he's going to Twitter well, you. Well, he says to send a T Mobile and it's random. Like, yeah, that's really weird. I, like, I, call technical Frank, support, I really hope you get that Frank. figured out because that's crazy. <laughs> that is a weird <laughs> error. Oh, I had the well, I had a problem. Fa- yeah, your FaceTime wouldn't work. Because the. Uh, anyway. It's some weird MMS. It was, an, it was an, on AT&T's end. Yeah, MMS wasn't weird. switched on. My account wasn't yeah. reflecting that. Your account was reflecting. So maybe there's some weird error on your. That account would be or my guess. You try to call. You better try to call. Anyway, um, so that's all the time we have. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm calling it. We it's gotta done. stop. Yeah, it's over. We gotta stop it's this. We gotta, we're gonna keep going, and we're gonna have an hour and a half show like we did last week. No, we're not gonna do that this week. No, we're not gonna well, make we're you stop. suffer another stop. half hour. Yeah, we're, we're gonna done. stop. So, um, please feel free to check out any previous this week in mobile episode on our site. Um, we also have, uh, we used to be This Week in Android, and now we're This Week in Mobile, we've been eight episodes in. So if you want to check out This Week in Android, you can also do that on our site. Um, you can go to thisweekend.com slash mobile. And uh, if you want to follow either of your very favorite mobile hosts, you can follow them on Twitter. I'm at, at Android Ashley. Mike is at Valis23. You're talking about us. Yeah. Huh. Uh, well, I was gonna, I was gonna say you can follow Android Ashley, but then I, and then I was gonna say Josh from Engadget, but then I forgot who it was because I thought that would have been really. <laughs> that would have been you. funny. I would have laughed. But, you, but my memory, joke? my memory defaulted, and 
good. I couldn't I couldn't recall good, that good, for good, some good, reason. Good. So I'm gonna write it down next week though. That's ruined now. It's not funny. <laughs> I know funny. Now it's not funny anymore. Oh. You just broke my heart. Good. All right. You can also find me. I have a fan page on Facebook, mm. um, you, Ashley Esqueda, and you can also... Uh, I don't have a fan page. You do not Facebook. have a fan page on Facebook. Maybe I'll make you one this weekend. Please. Um, and uh, I have a fan page on Facebook. We have the show at TWI Mobile, or underscore mobile. Mm. Remember the underscore. Oh, That's boy. the important part. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to find something else, and you don't want that. <laughs> at TWI underscore mobile. Um, and uh, you can also check out the show online. You can check out all of our other shows online. We've got some really amazing shows. Like, I, I have to say, really love, uh, really, really love our other shows. Yes. This week in video games, yep. so cool. Um, <laughs> like, uh, this week in music. comedy, music. Yep. We've got this week in iPad, this week in social media. I mean, we've got so so many any interest cool that shows. you might have very interesting yeah any interest you might have this week in movies there will be a show for you there i yeah. guarantee it and the streamy award winning kevin pollock's chat show huge deal very very interesting i love the paul rudd episode's one of my favorites oh yeah i do love paul rudd he's very funny yes he is i'm very amused by him um but uh yeah you can check out all of our other shows at this www.thisweekend.com um and uh, i would really like to thank tricaster mm -hmm. the good people of tricaster well done and their parent company for <laughs> making all of this possible because yeah, for casting it. I really love this. Yeah, I really love it. Right. Um, but yeah, we have an entertainment block on Sundays and uh, starting at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We also have a geek block hmm. Thursdays, starts at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So don't miss them because they're amazing. They're great. And and seriously, we have. I'm just gonna let you guys know, we have the hottest girl hosts anywhere. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not. Not talking about me. I'm talking about Amanda Coolong, This Week in Cloud Computing. I'm talking about Asha, This Week in Music. I'm talking about Andrew Renee, This Week in Video Games. I mean, like, seriously, Feral, This Week in Movies. You guys gotta check it out. It's like, we have good-looking people mm -hmm. on our shows. Yeah, I would agree with that. So, that's it for this week. So, on behalf of everyone here at the This Week in Network, thanks for watching. I'm Ashley Esqueda, and we will see you next time on This Week in Mobile. Great.